Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm Doi Fay and I'm an artist and I'm living uh, near Malaga in southern Spain. I have my studio here and I've lived here for very many years. So today I want to talk to you about how you can stop being frustrated with your painting. Now this is a question that comes up many times with many of my students and you know, because it's not going right and they get very demotivated and, you know, sometimes even stop painting, which is such a shame. So I'm going to give you three um, tips to help get over this frustration. But just before I do that, um, I have a new uh, free a mini course now available that if you are just looking at um, starting abstract painting and you would like some um, tips and ideas about how to start, what to do, how to do it, then this free uh, mini course will do just that. So uh, you'll see it in the information below and you can download that for free. So let's get to the subject. The three points that will help you stop getting frustrated with your painting. Well, the first thing that I feel is really important to know when you're starting on your abstract journey or even if you've begun already is you have to give yourself time. It's a process. You know, do you know of anything <laughs> that you can learn and have a skill with that you can do straight away? Obviously not. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. It takes time. And you need to sort of start to learn some skills, um, have some techniques and give yourself, um, you know, time just to understand how it all works. There's a, this strange idea that, you know, to be an abstract painter, you can just throw paint on the canvas and, you know, you're there. Well, yeah, you can do that. And that's that's really great fun. But it's not really very satisfying if you want to really achieve something, if you want to express your feelings and know how to put the painting together, because there's so many different aspects to creating an abstract painting. So, whoa, <laughs> give yourself some time. Be prepared to learn those skills and to get familiar with how colours work and your composition and your colour values. You know, it's this process that will lead you to feeling confident and to, what's more, um, creating great art. <laughs> so the next point is um, to not be disappointed if it doesn't all work out. <laughs> you know, if every painting that I did was a masterpiece, <laughs> well, it just won't happen. <laughs> I, I would say that probably one in 10 paintings that, or maybe even more, work out really well and that I'm really thrilled with. And those take me time. You know, sometimes it can take me a week. Sometimes it can take me a month. Sometimes it can take me six months. I can do something on a painting and then feel it's not quite right, leave it there for a while and then go back to it with fresh eyes and see something new. So if you feel that you're getting disappointed, put the painting away you know, leave it for a while, even just overnight, when you come back and look at it, you'll see something different. Turn it upside down. <laughs> you have a different perspective. And, you know, the disappointment isn't necessary because, again, if you go back to the process, it's a process of learning techniques. You might just learn one more technique which will completely change that painting around. And suddenly you've got something, you know, really lovely that you're happy with. So the next point is, you know, there's a great tendency. And as much as I love YouTube and I'm here on it, <laughs> we can tend to compare ourselves with other artists when we're looking at 
um, you know, demonstrations and other artists on YouTube. You know, the wonderful thing for me about abstract painting and really should be for you is that we have the opportunity to paint something that is completely unique to us, to ourselves. You know, we're all unique human beings. None of us are the same. We might have um, similarities, but, you know, we're all different. And it's that difference that we can express in our painting. When we start comparing ourselves with other artists, you know, Oh, our mind can go off on a tangent of a whole load of negative stuff that stops us then being creative. You know, are they better than us or they know more, you know, more about this, that, and the other. Well, perhaps, you know, like me, they've been painting for years and years and years. <laughs> so if we're not sort of a little bit good at it, then there must be something wrong. So you know, by all means, look at the processes that other artists are doing. That's great because you'll learn something. But don't compare yourself. What you really want to do is go inside yourself, start painting and find out the things that you love to paint. And you can do that through all kinds of constructive play. Play is... Um, really one of the most important things you can do in uh, abstract painting. It's more play experiment, <laughs> seeing what the paints can do, seeing what different tools can do, seeing how you can use the paint differently. And I have many courses, and if you have a look below, you'll see them, that, that does a deep dive into all those processes but if you're just starting off, then the best one to start with is the free mini course. But if you're already there and you want more inspiration about how to uh, expand your skills and your knowledge, then I've got some really interesting courses that might be helpful. So I hope that those tips will inspire you, that you'll take some time to think about what I've said you know, give yourself the time. <laughs> See it as a process of learning. Like anything else, if you're learning to drive, you know, you don't know where anything is to start with. Where's the clutch? Where's the accelerator? Where's the brake? How do you change gear? Da -de da As soon as you learn how to do it, it's just automatic. And that's the same with painting. <laughs> as soon as you know how composition works, how to put your your colors together, your color values, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then it comes naturally, but it takes time to learn that. Um, don't be disappointed. Just say, okay, that's an interesting experiment. I'll leave it. I'll come back to it. If I still don't like it, <laughs> I can paint over it. That's the wonderful thing about acrylics. You know, it dries and you can paint over it or you can use what you've got as a foundation for something else. So throw disappointment out the window. <laughs> you don't need it. And then, you know, don't compare yourself. Really do, you know, a self-reflection of what you want to paint, what you want to express, what your favourite colours are, how you feel about, you know, what you want to paint. Be inspired for sure, by other artists, but don't compare yourself with them because you don't know what stage of the game they are. They could have been painting for 25 years, 30 years, a bit like me. <laughs> they, they could have been painting for two years. Who knows? The thing is to use those videos as um, inspiration to help you develop your own unique voice in your painting. So if there's anyone listening, I would love to um, answer any questions. But if there isn't at the moment, because I came on here live spontaneously, um, on the replay, do ask me questions. Put something in the comment. If you have something, you know, that you would like to discuss, just put it in the comments. That would be great. And, you know, help me promote this channel by giving me the thumbs up. <laughs> that would be wonderful. And subscribe if you would like to see more of these videos.
So it's been great talking to you today and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care and bye for now.